Hey guys, this is the Teenage Train Runner. Welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be doing some weathering. Now, I'm very much aware that the last time I made one of these videos was like seven months ago, uh, and this is uh, for many reasons, but I'm not going to go into that. However, I have planned more videos like this for the coming weeks, and hopefully, this channel, this kind of modelling side of the channel, is going to start growing uh, more of a rate. Um, but all of that aside, uh, let's crack on with some weathering straight after the intro. So in this first part we are going to be dry brushing, if you don't know what that is, here we go. Uh, right, so you basically uh, remove the pigment and then get rid of most of it using your tissue. What's left you then paint over the underframe or whatever your test subject is. Simple. Okay, so now we're going to use the black weathering powder just to tone down the colours of the wagon as it's quite bright. Uh, and also to bring out the planking as it sticks in the uh, kind of crevices. Uh, creates the effect that uh, coal dust was kind of spilled over the side, which is quite realistic. So, guys, we're almost at the end of the video. Just three things before we leave. Uh, first of all, this cost me less than ten pounds. I'm not counting the fact that uh, I use some really rather cheap hobby craft paint brushes, or the fact that I needed to use tissues because those are pretty insignificant matters. However, the rust wash from Humbrol cost um, about four pounds last time I checked and the uh, weathering powder costs about five. Those are the only two products I've used in this video, so feel free to go get them. I will leave a link to both down in the comments. Also, you may want to consider um, spraying your wagons or rolling stock with some kind of uh, varnish, uh, because um, the black weathering powder is rather good at coming off on your fingers. Uh, so if you handle your wagons and rolling stock a lot, then um, that might be something you want to consider. But anyway, um, uh, lastly, well, um, it's the end of the video. Uh, please leave a like, uh, even subscribe. Um, and if you enjoyed it, please say so down in the comments, and I'm sure I can make a couple more of these videos. But um, for now, it's goodbye. <laughs>